Let me say that last part a little bit more carefully. Um, if the Brouwer class is actually trivial, what does that say? That says that we can take our one co-cycle in PGL and we can find a one co-cycle in GL such that when we look at the induced um, element in Z1 PGL from alpha tilde, that this gives us something cohomologous to alpha. But how is cohomologousness actually defined? It's, it's defined by, um, by altering your action by taking some automorphism of the algebra. Right. So this um, means that I can really turn the alpha tilde action into the alpha action, or the image of the alpha tilde action into the alpha action by doing a um, by by doing some changes of coordinates by um, by an automorphism of um, of the algebra into morphisms of each tensor e. Of course. The automorphisms of V tensor E, these are this PGL, everything is inner, it's all coming from, um, from things in GL. That is, all these automorphisms here, these all come from um, automorphisms of V tensor E. Changes of coordinates in V tensor E. And so really what that says is that, um, is that this, if I, um, if I alter alpha tilde, by those automorphisms of V tensor E, which, by that automorphism of V tensor E, which induces the automorphism of the endomorphisms, if I tweak this thing to make it some alpha double tilde, then this is actually going to go to alpha itself. And so, um, so the consequence is that if alpha is trivial, then I can in fact choose a, um, a co-cycle um, in PGL, uh, sorry, a co-cycle in GL, which maps to my given co-cycle in PGL. I can really lift that action uh, from an action on the endomorphisms to an action on the vector space. And let me just rehash that final point again just to make sure that it's totally clear. Um, if we suppose that we have um, some one co-cycle in GL which maps to something co-homologous to our PGL co-cycle. What does that mean? That means we have some alpha tilde, our one co-cycle, such that if we take its bar, which by which I mean its image in PGL, we get something co-homologous to alpha. But how is co-homologousness defined? What it's defined to mean is that there is some B, so this is co-homologousness as co-cycles in PGL, which means that there should be some B, an element of PGL V tensor E, such that if I sandwich the image of my alpha tilde, alpha tilde bar of sigma, between a b, a b inverse and a sigma of b, then that gives me my alpha of, um, of, of b, this uh, alpha of sigma. This is exactly the definition of cohomologousness of, uh, of one co-cycles. Well, if I have this, then I just make the observation that every b in PGL is the bar of some a in GL. So I can kind of lift my b's to GL, and if I do that, then I might as well redefine my alpha tilde to an alpha double tilde, where the alpha double tilde is altering the alpha tilde by my a, as a, you know, by, and this is now something, um, so now this is something cohomologous to my original alpha, but the main point here is that by construction, if I take the bar of my alpha double tilde, I get exactly alpha, because the bar of this alpha double tilde is this thing, which is my alpha. And so what that means is that my alpha double tilde is a good choice of something in Z1 of GGL of uh, V tensor E, whose image is on the nose alpha. And so that says that if my alpha is actually split, then I can take that particular action, um, so if my algebra A is split, then I can take my semilinear action on the endomorphisms and literally, literally lift that exact semilinear action to a semilinear action on V, tensor E, which induces that one.